In this video about 7D Mark II autofocus, we are going to be looking at the timing of autofocus when you're in servo, which is the moving subject focus mode. Uh, it links back to the other videos that we've done in this series on 7D focus. So the camera has a dedicated focus menu, push the menu button, it's the second tab, the pink one, and if you take the second tab on there, uh, you'll see a menu item that says AI Servo first image priority. So basically what that means is when you're about to take a burst, and, and this refers to continuous shooting, um, for the first image that you're going to take, um, the, there's a certain amount of time given by the camera for focus to happen. If we enter, it may get a little clearer, into the screen, we can see the parameter uh, has release on the left and focus on the right side. So what that means um, is that if we drag our setting to the far right, that focus is being prioritized. So remember we're talking about timing here. So servo, pick up your camera, you want to take a photo, you start tracking something. This parameter allows you to prioritize focus. So it will, it will allow more time uh, than, than the, the default setting for focus to happen and it will weight focus as being so important that you may find that the frame rate slows down and it might take you longer to get the first shot off um, because the camera has been told that it needs to be in focus before it shoots. For slower subjects or easy, easier subjects to focus, uh, using the setting works absolutely perfectly and you'll pretty much get every shot in focus but uh, the faster the subject goes or the more difficult the background behind it is uh, the harder it can be for the camera to to pick up and confirm focus uh, and you, you may find that it slows down your frame rate uh, or your initial shot um, a bit too much for my own camera uh, I tend to either keep it on equal priority uh, or on release. So I'll just explain a little bit what release is about. Uh, this is the opposite end of that parameter and what it means is that no longer is focus the priority. There's still going to be focus happening when you pick up the camera and start tracking. It's just that the time allowed for that focus is shorter. So you, you are going to get your maximum continuous shooting speed which is 10 frames a second if you have the 72 set in release for the first shot and the subsequent shots. Um, but what it does do is it enables you to get that first shot off really quickly uh, with no hesitation. So those are the differences uh, on that parameter and that's for the first image in a burst. Uh, the 72 allows you to custom tune that uh, not only for one image but to change that behavior if you want for the second image onward in a burst. So I'm going into the, the menu option here, second, uh, second choice, and we've got the same two options, but they're now referring to the remainder of images in that burst. So here you again may choose to prioritize focus, which would mean you get your first shot off quickly on release, and then while you've got the shutter down, the second image onward may take a little longer to, uh, to get properly focused or you may choose to go equal priority which is a, a, a sort of a 50-50 compromise uh, between focusing priority and, and, and speed priority or if you choose uh, shooting speed priority you guarantee you're going to get 10 frames a second when you're shooting continuous bursts but you may find uh, that the, you get a lower hit rate of properly focused um, images. But generally for my own 72 uh, used on L series lenses uh, I tend to have first image at release because I want to get that first one off quickly and I don't want the camera to hang and, and sort of pause and then I will maybe have focus priority for the second image onwards in the burst. 72 1DX and the 5D3 all behave slightly differently uh, when you adjust this parameter um, and the 72 probably slows down about the least of those three cameras if it's in 
focus priority on both settings here. Um, but it's a very nice uh, custom setting for, for, uh, for allowing you to fine tune your, your focus to your own preference and for the lens that you're using on the camera. In the next video on 7D Mark II autofocus, we'll be discussing some of the uh, autofocus parameters that live in Canon's autofocus cases. Subscribe to this channel if you want to keep getting videos about Canon gear from a wildlife photographer's perspective.